YouTube, what is going on? Theo Bean here, and today we are going to be talking about some tips that will help you out for your start of Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance. So, for this list, these are essentially things that helped me when SMT 5 first came out, the original version back in 2020. So, I'm going to be going over some tips, some tricks that I think is going to help set you up for success throughout your playthrough of SMT 5 Vengeance. Without further ado, let's get into it. So first of all is deciding how you exactly want to build your team or more specifically how you want to build the Nahabino who is the main character you play as. Essentially when it comes to building him out you're going to get a lot of skills that you can pick from. Ideally you're going to want to build more into a physical build, magical build, or even a support build which I don't recommend a but to each their own. So your skills, your abilities, your passive skills are all going to determine kind of your build, what you want to specialize in. Trying to be a jack of all trades is not necessarily what you want to do, considering you're going to get other characters and demons part of your team that you can specialize for more certain things to hit certain scratches since there's going to be a ton that you can choose from. So how you balance your main character as well as the rest of your team is going to be important and going to set you up for success. Making sure you have different teams that do different elements of damage, different types of attacks, is going to be the best way to help you get through any situation as you go through your playthrough especially some harder boss fights and things like that if you want to experience multiple endings you should save a lot so smt5 is going to be a game where your choices will affect what happens in the game at some points you will make decisions that will be considered points of no return and will lock you into a certain path those are usually a little bit later so for those that want to get your achievements, want to experience all endings, I do highly recommend that saving, um, making multiple saves, especially for certain things like that. Another good reason that you should be making multiple saves is anytime before you go to infusions. As you're doing fusions and you're creating demons, there is a chance that you could have a failed fusion and you can get something that's completely opposite or just completely terrible. For that reason, save before you do that help ensure that even if you do have something that's absolutely useless you don't need at all just reload the save redo your fusions and chances are that it's not going to happen again next up is going to be doing your best to try to fill your compendium i don't necessarily recommend this for everybody if you just want to play through the game beat everything by all means go ahead for completionists or for people that want to really strategize how they do with their teams or playing harder difficulties Filling out your compendium is going to help you down the road. The more demons you unlock, this is going to help you with creating even more options as you get further and further into the game. And as you get towards the end, this is also going to help you unlock the best demons that you can fuse to help you with the super bosses and things like that that will be available. SMT5 Original had one super boss, which was pretty challenging. Um, I don't know if there will be the same or multiple here in Vengeance. I'm assuming there will be at least one, if not multiple, including with the DLCs, things like that. So be prepared and plan accordingly based off what you want to do. Another tip is just to play how you want, right? So kind of alluding to what I just said, you know, if you want to min-max, collect everything, which is kind of more so my strat. Do all the side quests, try to collect everything. I do enjoy that. I know that's not for everybody. If you just want to play the game, explore each region, once you get tired, move on. By all means, do what you want. At the end of the day, this is a game, it is for fun, so play how you want. This is probably going to be one of the best tips, but one of the best things that you can do during your playthrough is just making sure that you're utilizing all the items you have. Specifically, there is one item too that is extremely broken, pending any changes, and that are dampeners. Dampeners are essentially a item that you can use that will block a specific element of damage, for all of your party members this can be incredibly useful during strong boss fights who use very strong moves so instead of having every member defend and wasting a turn one character can use a dampener all your other teammates can focus on abilities and things like that either heal or attack to deal with the situation and the dampener will completely block the damage if it's of that same type these things were available early on in the game and they were also incredibly cheap it was insane how broken dampeners were and it was one of the best keys that you could use for beating any boss fight considering each boss usually had one extremely strong move so having a dampener could really negate anybody from dying wiping and things like that 
just making sure that you're utilizing your items in general is going to be great considering that over the course of playing through and exploring you're going to find a ton of stuff to use that's going to help you get out some sticky situations and then finally uh this is the last one but it's kind of just so not a more serious one but kind of one more fun but smt5 does in fact have the best summon or demon ever in the smt persona series Ending again any changes, I think she's returning, but I'm referring to none other than Cleopatra. If you've seen Cleopatra and you know what she can do, not only was she incredible, but she was smoking hot as well. Her move was insanely, insanely strong late game, and I think it only didn't work on certain bosses that were immune to it, just for the sake of how strong this move was and being able to not cheese them. But... If you can, she is available. I do recommend that you pursue her if you can get her, assuming she's still in the game. But that's going to be it, guys. Just a couple tips for you to help you out as you're going through. Again, play to your heart's desire. Do what you want to do. But hopefully these tips can help set you up. Make sure you're using your items. Explore. Play and strategize based off what you have and what you need and what you encounter. If this video helped you guys out, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, let me know what you're looking forward to the most. Having the original game in SMT5 Vengeance as well as a completely brand new story, uh, it's going to be so much fun. If you guys are interested, I will be live streaming from my Twitch later tonight at 9pm Pacific when the game will drop. I will also be streaming tomorrow at around 6pm Pacific or possibly earlier uh, to continue the playthrough of Vengeance. That is going to be it guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace and deuces. See ya.